Hello everyone. This video is about motion and different types of motion. Coming to definition of motion, it is change in position of an object with respect to a fixed position with time. In order to understand the definition of position easily, first you need to know the meaning of words change in position, object, fixed position and time. So when you know these things clearly, then it becomes easy to understand the definition or meaning of motion. So I'll try to explain the definition of motion with a simple example. So first we'll see the meaning of position, object, fixed position and time. So in this picture you can see there is a boy who goes to school every day. So he starts from his home and travels 10 kilometers to reach his school. Now in this picture, home and school are fixed positions and let us consider object as the school boy and now the time taken for traveling this 10 kilometers distance is 10 minutes. So remember these things in mind so that it becomes easy to understand the definition or meaning of motion. So this boy starts from home to school every day at 9 am and travels a distance of 10 kilometers to reach his school. So he takes 10 minutes to travel this total distance. So that we can say that he takes 1 minute to travel 1 kilometer. So then we can say for example, after 5 minutes, this student or the schoolboy is 5 kilometers away from the home. By this, we can say that the boy is in motion because at 9 am, that is we are specifying the time, he is at home. So, home is fixed position and at 9 5 am, again we are specifying the time, he is 5 kilometers there is change in position away from the home. So his position is changed with respect to a fixed position and time. So we are, we are saying that the boy is moving, he is in motion because initially at starting time that is at, at 9 am he is at home but after 5 minutes he travelled a distance of 5 kilometers. So at 9 5 am he is 5 kilometers away from the home. Right. So his position is changed with time and with respect to a fixed position that is home. By this we can say that the boy is in motion but in other situation even after 5 minutes after 9 if he is at home, we can say that he is not in motion because his position is not changed with respect to fixed position that is home and with time. Now coming to the types of motion, there are three types of motion, translatory motion, circular motion and oscillatory motion. So we will see in brief about each type of motion. Coming to the meaning of translatory motion, here when any object moves in a straight path, it is called as translatory motion. For example, in this picture you can see ball, it is moving in a straight path. So, it is not taking any diversions, it is not taking any turns. So, here it is moving only in the straight path, that is why it is called as translatory motion. Second type circular motion. So name itself indicates here the object is moving along a circular path. It is moving in a circular path. That is why it is called as circular motion. Coming to the third type of motion that is oscillatory motion. In this the object is said to be in repeated motion because the object repeats the same movement. 